Now you see me. Now you don't. All right, you caught me. Let's get on to the review. What's up guys, this is Corey. Welcome to CNA Films and Animation. Today I have a very special review for you. Um, I'm going to be reviewing Now You See Me. This film comes out next weekend, not this Memorial Day weekend, and I'm going to talk to you guys about it. So Now You See Me stars Woody Harrelson, uh, Jesse Eisenberg, Ezra Fisher, and uh, Dave Franco. They are a magic group known as the Four Horsemen, and basically their um, main thing is that they get this Vegas show, and their uh, their gimmick is that they get one member from the audience at random to uh, basically go up on stage and rob a bank, for, you know, rob his bank from the stage, and. You know, the guy, you know, does everything that they tell him. He robs a bank, and all the money from the bank spills out into the audience, and everybody gets the money. Well, this raises alarms for an FBI agent played by Mark Ruffalo, who, you know, suspects that, you know, this isn't right. You know, someone, you know, these guys stole money from this French bank, and they are uh, wanting to stop him you know, these uh, four magicians. So, it's kind of, it turns into kind of a cat and mouse uh, chasing thriller from that point on, and it's a very unique film. Now You See Me is an interesting film. It's one that I'm sure a lot of audiences are going to really like. Uh, it's a very well-crafted script, and it's a very thrilling film as well as a very visually um, stunning film in, in the uh, special effects department. One of the film's strongest elements is its cast and the acting. Um, everybody in this film does a really good job um, acting-wise. No one's going to win any Oscars from it, but, I mean, you know, it's, it's pretty solid in the acting department. Morgan Freeman and Michael Caine both have smaller roles in the film, but they're small roles that play a big part in the story. And, you know, both of them do a fantastic job, as are the four main magicians. The special effects in this film are very good and very effective for the story. And, you know, I'll, I'll admit, a lot of the stuff that happens is pretty entertaining to watch. But that doesn't go without a few flaws here and there. Well, because the film is about magic, uh, at least that's kind of a a smaller area of the film. You know, one of the big things about magic, at least I feel, is that magic is kind of that element of, you know, shock and awe. Um, how did they do that? You know, stuff like that. And you lose that when you're watching a film. Because... At least I did, because I, you know, I was sitting there, I was watching all these magic tricks and stuff, and, you know, most of it is, you know, video, video editing or, um, you know, special effects or something, and it, it makes me kind of lose that element of the, the film, you know, it, it didn't really go, oh wow, how did they do that, you know, it was more of, that was a neat special effect, that was pretty good f editing there, you know, that's kind of how I saw it. And when you have that element, you know, as being kind of a central point to the entire story, you lose something there. I mean, if this was in front of a live audience, I'd have been like, how do they do that? But because it was a film, I'm like, okay, you know, that, that was entertaining, but, you know, I'm not really wowed by it. Another thing that was kind of a setback with this film was that the character development in this film was 
lacking in, in some places. Uh, I felt some of the characters didn't really have all that much of a story arc, and you know, and really they're kind of in the same place in the end as they were in the beginning. Granted, their roles are a little bit different, but you know, it's nothing's really all that different for them. But that doesn't mean that this film is a bad film. It's actually pretty entertaining, and it's a lot of fun to watch. And it's pretty solid in the script area. I mean, there's some twists and turns that a lot of audiences will not see coming. I saw a few of them coming, and, you know, some of them really didn't shock me all that much, but I was at least entertained. And that's all that you can really ask for for a summer movie, and that's what this is. It's a summer movie. Uh, I was entertained. It may, you know, a lot of audiences may not see some of the twists coming where I did, and therefore they will probably um, like this a lot more than I did. Um, so with that, I'm going to give Now You See Me a 7.5 out of 10. So tell me guys, do you want to see Now You See Me? If you've seen the movie, what'd you think of it? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Uh, comment below, let me know. Love to hear your feedback. If you guys like this review, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Be sure to check out our other videos. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And as always, I'm Corey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.